Well, hi there. Uh, this is Spooky FDW, and no, that doesn't stand for For the Win, as some people think. It actually stands for Fort Wayne. It's the abbreviation for the city I live in. Well, today I'm going to show you how I do my green screen, uh, how I do what's called chroma keying. Uh, in my software, I was asked by Torpedo Fish uh, some questions about it, and I thought everyone might benefit from seeing how it's done, or at least how it's done in my software. Uh, hope you like the wallpaper, by the way. Uh, pick that just especially for YouTube. You know how that is with it being down today and all. But um, just to get started here, first of all, you need a paint program uh, that you want to use to make this. Now, for me, I use... Uh, JASC Paint Shop Pro to make my pictures. And um, what we're going to do here is we're going to pick green, as you can see over here, green as our color, and we're going to paint over the areas that we don't want to show up in the picture. Now I'm going to use this picture as an example, and then when we go into the program, I'm going to actually use a different picture to show you how the keying is done. So first, just draw through here, get rid of anything that you don't want to show up in the final product. Now I'm not trying to make this perfect here, as I'm sure you've figured out already. But once you've got that all keyed out, then you've got your generic green screen. And I assure you, that'll look pretty good. You won't hardly even know once that's all done. Now you might want to smooth things out a little bit, or maybe change your brush size. I'm using a pretty good size brush size right now. Once you have that done, then you need to save your picture, and you need to go into your video editing program. Now I use a program called Vegas Video, and as you can see on the screen here, I already have a fish ready to green screen. Now on this picture here, what I need to do is select the chroma keying option. Now on mine, it's just a little itty bitty button up here that allows me to do that. Once you select your chroma keying option, then you need to pick your color. Mine has an eyedropper and I can just click over there and it picks the color. Enable your chroma keying if it's not already enabled. And voila, now you have a little fish on the screen there. Now, you can do this with video, or you can do it with still pictures. This happens to actually be a little video. And uh, I'll show you just a little bit of it here. Now, as you can see, uh, it's pretty flawless. It's pretty smooth. You do have some options, though, uh, with Chroma King that you can set in case uh, maybe, maybe the green background blended a little bit with the edges of the fish, for example. You can change your thresholds. As you can see, the fish disappeared because I set my low threshold up too high. And you should have a high threshold also as you move more and more over then it'll blank out everything for example in this case um, but your thresholds are important too. you also have what's called blur on most of them and I don't know if you can really see it but as I blur the picture the fish becomes a little bit more translucent you can kind of see through the fish's edges I typically don't use blur uh, because when you overlap a picture, when you put it into multiple tracks, as you see here, I've got multiple tracks, by blurring it, uh, you can see other objects passing through. So you, you most likely don't want to do that. Now I've got multiple fish already on here, just as an example. And I'm going to take this first fish and I'm going to shrink it. There we go. So now you've got 
all these different fish here. Sorry about the music here. I'm actually working on a video here that I've been wanting to do by uh, Tay Zande. And uh, here's how it looks now with multiple fish, all of them chroma keyed. And you notice it's you can't really see through the fish as they move. Now whatever picture you have in the top layer, okay, whatever this top layer is, that's going to be the fish that is closest to you. So perspective wise, the first fish, the second fish, the third fish, and the fourth fish. Okay. Now if I eliminate those one at a time, maybe that will help you see it better. But this is the first fish. You see how it disappeared out of the screen. The second fish. Fortunately, I need a bigger monitor. <laughs> the third fish. Oh, that was actually bubbles. See, I had bubbles going on in there too. There we go. There we go. So that gives you a little bit better of an idea of how I do my chroma keying. And um, the fish, by the way, was created with a program called ULID Cool 3D, uh, which is a pretty cheap program to use. I recommend if you're looking for some software to be able to do this kind of animation, uh, to be able to make multiple track videos where you have the overlaying objects um, that you definitely do your shopping around. Uh, Pinnacle Studio is a good choice for most people because it's only about a hundred dollars and it comes chock full of all kinds of things that you can do. Uh, Vegas which is what I have it's pretty expensive uh, it's around five to six hundred dollars but uh, all around, this is the best software I've found out there. But uh, if you're serious about it, check it out. Most programs have demos available. And uh, thank you. I hope that you enjoyed this video today.